Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to Tatiana Suarez up against Montana De La Rosa. Tatiana, you're back. So good to have you back. What's it been <laughs> like for you uh, having to watch from the sidelines, knowing that you're one of the best in the world? Um, You know, uh, it's been tough, I'll be honest. But you know what? I'm not going to dwell on that. All I got to think about now is Saturday. I'm back. And um, that's all that matters. So here we are. <laughs> Have you been impressed by what you've seen from the division in your absence? We've seen a few different champions, uh, different kinds of champions. And, uh, you know, you know, you know, one or two of them pretty well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm impressed by all the talent that's out there. I want to face all of the champions, um, whoever is out there. That's why, like, not too long ago, I had said that I wanted to fight Rose. But that was because I just wanted to fight her because I think she's, the, you know, done great things. She's obviously been a multiple, you know, she's been the champ multiple times. So I just think for me, like, I just want to fight all the best girls out there. And she's one of them. Like, I wanted to fight jo uh, Joanna Jojekic because – I thought she was an amazing fighter. You know what I mean? And like, I want to fight the best people because that shows a lot about me. You know what I mean? And that like, in order to be the best, you got to beat the best. <laughs> so that's where I'm on, you know? And like, not only that, but I love a good challenge. I was just saying earlier that every person's a different type of puzzle that you want to solve, you know? And that's what I want to do. I want to just solve all the puzzles. And, uh, you know, be the best fighter and, you know, um, also be the best person that I can be along the way. Is a part of you sad that JJ's retired and you've missed that opportunity because it would have been so cool. You have that history from tough. She was like one of the best women's champions ever, but MMA right. retirement kind of like, you know, will she be back anyway one day? I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. I think maybe hopefully she comes back one day, you know, I don't know. She's still young in the game um but who knows maybe she just doesn't want to do it anymore or maybe she wanted some time off um whatever it may be yeah it's it's when she retired I was like no that was the first thing I said I was like man you know but I was I was happy for her you know because obviously you know if you're not if you don't want to do it then don't do it you know I wake up every day and I'm so damn excited for the next day because I'm so in love with the sport so um yeah I think uh, for me, I think that's why people keep telling me like, man, you never thought you wanted to give up. I'm like, how could I give up on something that I love this much? You know, I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. You know, just like I wouldn't be able to look myself in the eye, in, in, in the eyes, like when I look in the mirror, you know what I mean? So I'd probably be like socially awkward with myself in the mirror. I'd be like, oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> no, but um but i want to make sure that um you know like when i retire it's because i i don't want to do it anymore you know but i know that this is where i belong and i'm gonna enjoy and embrace every second of it do you think about legacy uh you must have had a lot of time to think about what you've already done i mean you've already you know you've beaten people like carlos sparza you've beaten people like alexa grasso is just fighting for the belt again so you kind of have an opportunity to cement your status as really one of the best ever. Is, is that on your mind? No, I think it's great because um, that you said legacy because like my brother's school is Legacy Wrestling Wrestling Center. So I just thought it was kind of funny. Like it's always like his um, his um, his slogan is what will be your legacy. So it's just funny that you said that you mentioned that. But for me, I think um, I just want to be the best martial yeah. artist that I can be. And um, along the way, I'm going to collect the belts. Does it interest you that uh, that Shevchenko Grasso fight, given that, you know, only took you around to, to put away Alexa and now she's fighting maybe the best ever Shevchenko. Do you, do you think you guys might come around again? And, and do you think she has a shot at taking out Bullet? Um, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I couldn't really say. I mean, I think she would have to have improved, improved, you know, definitely on the ground because, you know, Shevchenko does get people to the ground with a body lock and stuff and that body locks tight. So I'm not sure, you know, I think it would be an interesting fight. She could, she definitely presents like, she's a really good boxer, you know, she has really good boxing and stuff. So she presents that problem. Um, 
But, um, you know, I look forward to seeing it. And if we meet again, that'd be great. I don't really know um, how long, you know, I don't think I'm going to stay at the flyweight division. I plan to go back to strawweight. So I plan on uh, getting the strawweight belt, defending it a lot of times. And then, you know, if, you know, I'm sitting there like thinking to myself, you know, I don't really, I feel like I want a different challenge and I want to go up the flyweight, then, you know, I can do that too. So, um, but right now I'm not really thinking about that. I just think about my fight next or this Saturday, next Saturday, <laughs> this Saturday against Montana De La Rosa. You know, I know that she probably wants to beat me and not probably, I know she wants to beat me. She's been working her tail off to beat my ass. So I'm focused on that. What were your thoughts when you saw her name? As your comeback fight, do you like this fight? Um, yeah, I think like, you know, it gives me, and I don't know if she's gonna try to grapple me back. Um, I think she will. She grapples every single fight that she's ever been in. Um, she shoots um, every single fight she's ever been in. So I think you know, um, I like that challenge. If someone does, you know, want to wrestle with me, grapple with me. Um, I think it makes it interesting. A lot of times they're so nervous to get taken down by me that they, you know, just want to get back up to their feet and that's it. You know, then they want to strike with me, but I think maybe she'll try to grapple with me, which is cool. I'm sure she'll try to get back to her feet because if you're on the front, on the ground, definitely lose them, you know, <laughs> but, um, unless you're like, unless you're in a weird position and they're throwing elbows from the bottom or something, which you don't want to do that, but. Um, usually you're uh, usually you're losing if you're on the bottom. So I think she'll try to get up or reverse me or something, you know. So I just look forward to it because you know she's a grappler, I'm a grappler. For a Let's long time, it. I think the flyweight division maybe suffered in comparison to the strawweight. That the strawweight was always seen as a bit more exciting, star studded in the recent years. But maybe flyweight is catching up now. Would you say with uh, Manon and Erin Blanchfield kind of shaking things up? Uh, do you agree with that? That flyweight's more exciting now and and more more. Yeah, talented? definitely has got has. There's been more talent introduced into the flyweight division. Um, there's a lot of great matchups there. You know, you have Aaron Blanchfield, like you said, Manon Fior. Um, you know, obviously um, Alexa Grasso. Um, who am I? I mean, there's a lot of people, obviously. Casey O'Neill, you know, all the, all the, you know, up and coming talent that they have in the division. Um, you know, Tyla Santos, who gave, uh, as you, everybody saw, Valentina run for her money with the grappling and with everything, you know, that she put it all together really well. Um, and I've always said that, you know, somebody with really good grappling can um, really give Valentina a hard time. So, you know, I think that's was shown in her last fight. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting mix up in the division. There's a lot of talent there now. Um, before it was like, yeah, strawweight was really deep and flyweight wasn't really deep. But now it's just a lot more exciting. Do you think it's a fair bet that before you retire, you fight both Zhang Wei Li and Valentina? Do, do I think that I'll fight them both? I hope to. Because like I said earlier, if I'm... Uh, if I do everything like I, you know, I need to do and like I'm stay healthy and stuff like that, I should be fighting the best people in the world. Um, and then I'll be able to fight them. So, yeah, it would be an honor to share the cage with both of them, obviously, because one of them has been a dominant champion for a while, even fought for the Bantamweight title. And then, uh, Zang, you know, Zhang Wiley, she has been the champ now, what, twice? Choice. yeah yeah um and it's so funny that division the the showway division is crazy it's like zang just starts okay and i'm not not lose that word she beats um Andraj, then rose beats her by super fast and then they have another fight and then rose is the champ again and then rose loses to carla and i'm like what the hell is going on here and then Zhang Wiley goes and like beats up Carla in one round. I'm like, I don't know what's happening here. This is just nuts. Well, actually, like, I kind of expected Zhang to win that fight. I expected that. 
I just thought that, you know, I didn't know if Carla was strong enough to get Zhang down. And, but she actually did get her down. So that's also very um, surprising to me. And it's also uh, sparks my interest. Because, How fun uh, of a matchup is uh, Zhang Wei Li for you? Because she was kind of a primarily a striker, but then she went and trained with Cejudo and the Hickman brothers. So she's been working a lot on her wrestling. Yeah, that is an actually very exciting thing. Because then I hope she thinks she can grapple with me. Because then I could submit her. Let's do it. Be fun. Well, uh, you know, big one coming up for you. Can't um, say how, how happy we are to have you back. I just want to wrap up with a little quick fire, if that's okay with you. Focusing on your female colleagues in the UFC, who is the hardest hitter? Hardest hitter? Of of uh, which one? Of females, pound for pound in the UFC. Pound for pound in the UFC. I'd have to say freaking Amanda. Nunes, like, come on, she's scary, dude. That overhand. Best wrestler. But best wrestler, pound for pound. Come on, I nominate me. Fair play. Who is the best looking? <laughs> best looking. <laughs> pound for pound, best looking. I guess it depends on what your taste is. I mean, one man could say Wiley Zhang, and one man could say could say Carla Esparza. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I'm sure Carla Esparza thinks that her her husband thinks that she's the hottest one in the UFC. Who is the most annoying? <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Hottest one. Uh, let's see. Um, the most annoying you, the girls. I don't really. Oh, I don't want to say that. That's mean. I'm not gonna say that. Okay. They're all yes. great. <laughs> Who's the best dressed? Best dressed. Oh, I nominate myself. <laughs> Fair play. And who would you most right, like to have? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. How do you flip it? Look at those kicks. Very nice. Look at those. Look at no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very nice. I would wear those, to be honest. Um, but who would you most like to have dinner with? Dinner with? I don't know. I've never thought of this. This is so hard. Who is a funny, who is someone that's like super funny? I've met almost everybody, I think. Yeah, but I wouldn't have dinner. Um, I don't know. This is hard. These are some serious questions here. Dinner? I don't know. All of them, all at one table. The Last Supper style that's, that's a good answer and uh <laughs> who is the funniest i nominate myself no i'm just kidding <laughs> i don't know any fighters you know who's actually very funny angela hill i think is funny You're the second person to say her today for that uh that was the same well said it. jordan levitt yeah she's funny to me and um, who has the best hands? Hands? Like striking? Yes. Best boxing. Oh, Rose. Who has the highest fight IQ? I don't know. That's a good one. I think, I think, I think Valentina has a good fight IQ. She's been in a lot of fights. She's been with a lot of girls. Who would you most like by your side in a street fight? Amanda Nunes. She'd knock out a man. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the coolest tattoo? Tattoo. I don't know anybody with cool tattoos. <laughs> I don't really like, you know, I mean... 
Probably more bad ones than good ones, maybe. Well, I know. Look, can I say the most tattooed? Jesse Jess. <laughs> That's fair. And finally, fair. Who, who would your dream? I'm sure her tattoos are cool too. They are very vibrant. Good word. Good word. Yeah, very vibrant. Vibrant. Who, who'd your uh, dream fight be? Uh, any any weight class? Any any era? If you could fight anybody, who would it be? Ronda Rousey. That would be very cool. Uh, yeah. Fantastic to have you back, Tatiana. Best of luck and long, long may uh, continue. Hopefully see you again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I appreciate it. Watch the live coverage of UFC Fight Night. Kirillov versus Span on Sony Sports 10.2. Sony Sports 10.3 for Hindi and Sony Sports 10.4 for Tamil and Telugu on the 26th of February at 5.30 a.m. in the Indian time zone.